I think the loss of innocence is when we allow ourselves to mistreat another human being physically. The extreme end of the loss of innocence is killing. In Adam and Eve, I deal with a very old story, the creation story as described in Genesis. My focus is on those title characters, Adam, and then I have an ampersand and Eve, and I've done that on purpose because I want to suggest that this is a modern take on the old story of Genesis. Adam is a shell-shocked soldier. Eve is a messenger. They come together by accident, and they have a chance to start their lives over together in Eden. I see all of imaginative literature as empowering people. It takes us into broader experiences. It takes us deeper within ourselves. We can have a rebirth. We can remake ourselves in the image of whatever it is that we can imagine. What my characters realize is that as soon as people became human beings, as soon as our species evolved, people express themselves through art, through paintings and drawings on the walls of caves. I think that it is as essential to human nature to be expressive in the arts as it is for human beings to be violent or to be filled with lust. And both violence and lust are presented among the cave paintings. So for my characters and for me, the ability to create, whether it's in art or story or song or dance, the ability to create is the antidote to our impulse to destroy, to coerce, to control other people. In art, it seems to me, we have a kind of conduit to what's best about ourselves. In this way, in a sense, we are like gods, that we're able to create something out of nothing.